what does it mean to say that string theory is not even wrong? And where does that come from? Yeah, so, so the, the, the history of it, yeah, so this was often attributed to, to Pauli, that it was something that, that he was known to, to be very critical of things and to say, oh, you know, at a talk, this is, this is wrong, this is, you know, this is completely wrong. And supposedly late in life, he was asked by somebody about some paper and he shook his head and said, oh, well, that one, that one's not even wrong. And, and you could take it as, you know, a, a, a really somewhat nasty and aggressive put down is that that's so bad it's not even wrong. But there's also another meaning to me has always been that, you know, whenever people are working on specul speculative ideas, you know, they're always not, they're, they're always not clear whether they're right or wrong. And then the, the whole point, point of the thing is, you know, how do you get some idea to the point where you can tell whether it's right or wrong? And so, so not even wrong also kind of applies to, you know, most of my own work or most of everybody's, what everybody is doing in, in the subject and, and how you kind of, you know, anyway, how you emerge from that into something which can be right or wrong is, is, not, is not so clear. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say, I mean, in string theory's case, maybe it's, I, again, I want to be impartial, not necessarily my words, because I'm, I'm also not in a point where I can truly evaluate both yeah, sides people, with the expertise yeah, of yeah. a physicist. Uh, but the idea is that, on the one hand, it is so incomplete, witness M theory is not completely formulated, I mean, it can't really and hasn't made experimental predictions, though of course yeah. uh, people hope maybe they'll look up and see a cosmic string, but that's really just a wish. <laughs> so that's one thing, but then on the other hand, it's uh, not even wrong because people won't admit that it's wrong. Yeah, well, no, but that's actually, I, I think I've become much more, now I'm less fond of that phrase than I was when I wrote the book, and I would actually argue that it, it, it's the situation is different now, and this is actually what's upsetting to me that that this is an idea and a research program that has moved from a standard kind of speculative area that we're trying to figure it out and we're trying to see what its implications are, and it's so it's not even wrong in that sense yet. To this point, this is actually now wrong. This is just wrong. I mean, I'm sorry. This is just actually the evidence is overwhelming. This is actually a bad idea about physics. It just does not work. And 40 years of show, idea. That, of work have shown exactly why this is true. And the situation of really smart people publicly kind of denying this it, it is disturbing. It, it actually makes me physically ill. I'm sorry. That's, mm -hmm. that's where I am really now. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of moving. That's a way of saying where I moved. I moved from, you know, this is about not even wrong. To, this is about, you know, something which really is wrong, which people won't admit it. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'll have a gloomy outlook on this question, but what do you think is going to happen if you were forced to make a guess about string theory and high energy particle physics going forward? I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of, um, well, I mean, you, you can see that the, the forces on it. I mean, one thing is that, you know, I mean, money is always drives it a lot, and, and a lot of the money is now coming from AI, so, you know, people are just going to do, take what they're doing and start start to claim that they're using AI to do it, to do it more, and AI can, you know, AI can do meaningless calculations as well as people can, so I think there's a kind of a depressing, anyway, it's kind of depressing to see where the pressures from funding are kind of pushing people and where they're, where they're likely to go. And I, it's not, not good. I mean, I, I, the, the other, the weird thing about all this is that personally, these ideas that I'm playing with, I mean, they look more and more promising. I'm, I'm having fun. I, I, I can see a lot of things to do. So I feel kind of great personally about my own personal situation, my own life and what I'm doing every day. I, this, look, this is great, but, but seeing what's happening in the rest of the field, it just, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be going. Um, well, there's something I was actually thinking about this morning. I was wondering, I was just reading an article about um, what's called model collapse in, in, a, in AI. That the, what ha, people see what happens if you, you have these models, models which, which are um, trained on certain data from the real world and from people, and, you know, and they, they become more and more adept at actually being more and more like people and, and saying, saying non-trivial interesting things. But then what if, what if 
you know, they, they, they start having, you start losing, you start running out of, out of that data from real people to them. And, and there's just more and more AI generated data in the world. And that starts getting fed back into the AI. And what you see very quickly is you see a collapse of the model. The model kind of, if you start feeding it its own output, it, it just, anyway, it, it just starts producing things which just are more and more meaningless. And just, uh, it, there's a, there's a well-defined sense of which it collapses. And, and I, I'm actually kind of thinking there is some aspect of that that's happened to the to the physics community, the physics theory community. It's kind of for 40 years it's been producing this stuff, and it's now and it's now 40 years of not just producing it but feeding it back to itself as this is what good physics looks like, and you know and and you 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 have a there is a sense in which the subject really can kind of have kind of an intellectual collapse because of just being anyway. Anyway, did things. Anyway, it's it, it it's set up to to take certain kind of inputs and to do certain kinds of things with them. But it, if if it's kind of polluting its own inputs, and, and it's just going to get worse and worse. Mm-hmm.